Hello there, Gemini, and welcome to your looking ahead messages. I hope you guys are doing well out there, Gemini. And Gemini, this is a new series, so we're going to be looking at uh, the month of August 2023 for you. And so we're just going to channel out everything that we can from spirit about what you need to know when it comes to the month ahead. Again, it's going to be for August of 2023 for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know when it comes to August of 2023? Title. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys. Mm -hmm. I was just get. I don't. Okay, Gemini. It was. You know what? I was hearing was sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. I, so I'm just getting this thing of some kind of great heartbreak or, you know, um, or for some of you guys just staying strong when it comes to healing and mending a broken heart or something that has been very painful for some of you. Okay. But we do have the strength card here. So spirit is moving you towards a new situation. Um, just follow the guidance, but take care of yourself. Take care of your needs as well. I do see for some of you, Geminis, you might be attracting someone towards you that could be a, a significant healer or someone who aids in helping you um, heal what needs to be healed. Okay. Um, there could have been for some of you a person here um, that you could be dealing with in the month of August that you may need to just kind of you know, um, maybe resist doing anything that could make matters worse. So maybe we need to stay calm, um, or get into a place of compassion and forgiveness for yourself and others involved here. Okay. But I feel a lot of you guys are coming out of a disappointing situation. So I feel that this energy is playing for a lot of you, uh, right now here. So I am seeing you guys, um, gaining some something here when it comes to strength and courage okay and moving forward into maybe for some of you what seems like an unknown territory for you okay we got leo energy coming through we got gemini libra aquarius what else does gemini need to know about their situation and also gemini this is a general readings oh <laughs> So if the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising, your Venus signs. Okay. okay. Well, things are going to be looking quite well here. So you guys, it's going to be okay. Okay. Yeah. Don't let something disappoint you too much here. You know, I know that we have to go through uh, times where, you know, we go through those periods of darkness or hurt. But what I like about this is I am seeing the sun right behind this um, heart here. The clouds are clearing here. So some of you, Gemini, I see you guys getting mentally strong as well, like really having mind over matter in a situation. And by doing that, you guys are calling forth some type of new beginning here. And it could bring you, um, you know, some type of prosperity for some of you guys, but there could be a real commitment here with someone and to grow into something quite beautiful. Okay. So maybe for some of you Geminis, if you've been heartbroken, well, I see a situation where we've got a new opportunity when it comes to love. Okay. Or, um, getting a breath of fresh air, especially when we need one. Okay. Especially in that heart space here. Um, so some of you guys, you might be getting some powerful insights about what to do with some type of new beginning as well. Some of you, you could come into more money. You could come into something that is, you know, a, a worthwhile investment. Okay. But I am seeing prosperity, divine blessings. Something is happening here when it comes to some type of emotional fulfillment that I feel will make your guys's heart feel good. So expect some messages of love, maybe some new invitations to places. Hmm. Yeah. we got water sign coming through cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, as well as Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What else does Gemini need to know about their situation for August of 2023? What does Gemini need to know for August, 2023? Some of you, um, I'm looking at this uh, strength card. I'm just noticing 
she's really holding tightly a little bit onto that lion here. So there's like a sense of being soothed, okay? Um, so that we're not overreacting or giving into some type of impulses here that could, um, you know, may trigger some more challenges because I'm seeing this nice thing about you guys coming into something brand new for yourself. Oh my gosh, Gemini, whoa, you're going to be making some changes, aren't Okay, we're going to be, yeah, we're going to be, we're not going to be sitting around, that's for sure. Some of you Geminis, um, hmm, some of you Geminis, there may even be possibly someone who's like, um, trying their best not to communicate to you. <laughs> So maybe for some, you could expect some type of communication from someone here. Um, but a lot of you Geminis are really gaining the strength in the month of August to make some maybe lifestyle changes or, you know, changes that help you guys feel, you know, that you are grow going towards some type of success. And definitely something strong with communication here too. So, okay. Look at this lifestyle changes. Yeah, something about you guys um, going after what it is you want or sustaining something that you know is worth protecting. So we're just not going to allow, you know, a bad or disappointing situation to take away our goodness, our riches of life, you know, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, all of it. Um, now, Gemini, some of you guys don't be afraid to make some changes here because I'm seeing you guys really being in your power actually with the Knight of Swords and look where the Knight of Swords is headed here. It's the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, we even have the Ace of Pentacles here. So some of you, you know, you could even have some, some of you, you know, just listen, there could be a dramatic lifestyle change. You know, if it's not dramatic, it will be some type of significance here because some of you, you could be inheriting something or, you know, there's something here with um, a legacy, okay, for some of you. Some of you guys might even be breaking free from some old traditions um, and creating your own new traditions here. So I'm seeing an opportunity um, for a lot of you Geminis where I'm seeing you guys rushing towards and taking action on some type of opportunity because we got the Page of Cups and we got the Ace of Pentacles here and it's leading towards a Ten of Pentacles, which is a very nice, nice card here. Let's see, what else for Gemini? Some of you Geminis could get some, okay, some of you could get some type of, it could be challenging, so just hear me out, it could be, but you may be getting some communication here when it comes to maybe family members or, you know, maybe something to do with um, inheriting things for some of you guys or something with property for, you know, there's just something going on here with receiving some type of communication, okay? And now we got the Wheel of Fortune and we got the Seven of Pentacles here. So, wow, you guys really are. Re okay, some of you guys, something is going to come your way and it's like something good, something fortunate here. Look, the Ace of Pentacles, turn of events here, big time. Okay, I'm seeing it leading you guys to big, happy changes. Um, something that Spirit is saying will grow into something prosperous for a lot of you or it's worth tending to, taking care of. Okay, because this will of for this good fortune is meant for you. There's a lot going on here for a lot of you guys with um, money or property or assets here, improving them at least. Okay, if you're not feeling so abundant, hopefully you are though. What else? Now, also, I'm seeing someone who's patiently waiting for the right situation too. So. Things are turning, um, you know, <laughs> like a, it could just be a cycle is definitely over for you. You're ready for a new chapter. You're ready for these changes. Some of you for the month of July, some, or excuse me, not July, the month of August, there could be some sudden, sudden events that will require you to be very decisive and take action. Okay. What else for Gemini?
Hmm, I'm going to have to get a little bit more about this for you, Gemini. Hang on. Oops. Hang on, Gemini. So, Gemini, this is Charo, right? And I hope that I am saying that right. And this is you guys going through a major vibrational change, especially when it comes to healing and transmitting, or not transmitting, trans, well, maybe you guys are transmitting because, you know, we are, you know, anyways, transmuting pain here. So major um, vibrational shifts, and you can see it with the Wheel of Fortune. So some of you, there is some kind of major karmic or maybe even past lives situation that is really changing here some of you guys you could be definitely getting some you know deep uh, personal insights when it comes to deep wounds that may have even been carried um, from past lives or that you're picking up from others okay so some of you Gemini's um, not all of you, but there may be something uh, that you need to be aware of um, I feel for some of you Gemini's need to hear this there may be, um, for some of you, you may be experiencing in the month of um, August some new sensitivities or some maybe new um, abilities uh, when it comes to, you know, your own um, insights or spiritual meanings, uh, whatever. And you may be questioning things as well. You may also be... Uh, tuning into others because there may be an expansion when it comes to being able to, you know, tap into what others needs or their feelings or their energy. But some of you guys, you got to be careful not to let it inf influence you. Okay. So there may be, again, something strong about staying mentally focused here on your own um, decisions, actions, things that are helping you. Um, it's, you know, like ha having to take care of yourself right now. Okay. Um, and not being influenced by others. And this is interesting because I was getting something about maybe breaking free from some um, traditions or, you know, some type of control of others that we might be feeling here. So, yeah, I see a lot of you guys, you know, just tapping into your own powers here and taking control of a situation. Yeah, I feel that you guys are definitely in this place of recalibrating everything for a major vibrational shift and change for you what else for gemini whoa look gemini we've got temperance here so someone is having you okay not someone this is you we're having to remain um balance during a time where okay gemini we've got some sudden events happening here possibly that's playing out for august and into the next month um because it could be a series of events that is leading up to one big one but it's almost like spirit is saying you're gonna know the these changes are gonna happen here so we may need to maintain a sense of moderation with all things now for some of you gemini's you know it's a possibility that we have a win-win situation with others. So if there's been some type of disputes going on with others, you know, there is a, pro um, a high probability of, you know, everyone coming out or feeling like a winner in a situation, okay? But divine blessings is heading your way here. So I am seeing you guys receiving what, what may seem like a miracle in one's life here, but just maintain a sense of, you know, balance with your mind and your heart, um, with things as well, Gemini, because some of you guys, you might be even, you know, triggered to indulge, you know, a little bit more or a little bit less because we're having to deal with, you know, heartache or pain or, or something that is just not very comfortable, right? So just take that part if it resonates, but we are maintaining a sense of balance. You know, you, you've got one, it's like one foot is in the water and one foot is out on this earth here. So we're really t uh, diving in and tapping into something deep here that's helping you remain calm. Okay, so we've got a very angelic presence here. What else for Gemini for the month of August of 2023? These cards fell down. Mm -hmm. 
So here's some kind of communication. Here's that communication card. So Gemini, there's something about you guys having some type of swift or sudden movements here. But, oh boy, some of you guys, you, you, you do need to be some, not all of you, but some of you Geminis may need to be aware of your own feelings. Um, you could possibly miss something here. You could possibly be missing an opportunity. That is a wish fulfillment of yours, okay, by the way, especially when it comes to transforming a situation. Again, we were talking about transmuting, transferring, <laughs> transmitting, I was saying earlier. <laughs> Anyhow, transmuting and transitioning. Well, you're just really transitioning here. Now, I do see for some of you Geminis, um, you okay just hear me out and if you're aware of it then it's not going to be too much uh hard on you i guess or to, to we'll just listen for some of you guys you could end up there could be something here where you get excited or get some communication but then you end up being disappointed um because it might not be what you really thought it was okay Some of you Geminis actually might be surprised by something or someone here too. So somehow, some type of ending Gemini is going to bring you some type of uh, gratification or satisfaction in one's life at some point, okay? And I do see a lot of you Geminis um, getting some type of spiritual assistance or some type of help here in some aspect Maybe even a surge of energy that really helps you guys get out of feeling um, so bad about a situation. Because I, you know, the, this Three of Swords is playing out to this Five of Cups here. But it's all ending here because you're going to be seeing some type of new opportunity that's going to make you guys really happy and satisfied. We got Fire Sign coming through. We got Water Sign coming through. And yeah, Death Card, Scorpio. What else for Gemini? Gemini, I would just expect some communication from some people or a few, okay? There may be a big time uh, like thinking and acting quickly on your feet, especially with the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords is actually coming out twice here. Some of you guys, okay, oh my goodness. Some of you, I, you might be really in tune with this or, you, or you're going to feel this. You might intuitively be picking up on some type of communication, either telepathically or in dream state, or you guys are just going to know someone is like curious about you. Or there, there's something about receiving good news, though, or good communication from someone, okay? They could be an air sign, fire sign, or water sign. But I am seeing you guys um, making a decision or swift movement, movements here when it comes to the matters of the heart and what's right for you. Some of you guys, um, yeah, I feel that there's someone that's curious about you or someone that you're curious about as well here. And it could lead you to opening your heart with someone. Now, some of you, Geminis, there may be a situation too where... You're either going to find out some truth here too or, or about something or someone or there's something about you getting justice in a situation. There may be one. Okay. Okay. Three of swords. I'm seeing three people here. <laughs> some of you guys, there may be a person that could or wants to just literally put a block on you somehow from like listening to your heart or opening up your heart. So just be uh, cautious of that. Okay. Because, you know, I'm seeing a situation where something when it comes to your heart space and when it comes to the universe delivering, you're in the um, receiving mode of it. Okay. So um, I feel a lot of you guys really need to continue a path that makes you feel that you are moving into a new beginning. But you got some people that you're going to be dealing with, that's for sure. What else for Gemini?
Yeah, Gemini, I feel you guys are, you really are going to feel um, a sense of freedom or not restricted, especially when it comes to your heart space or just feeling um, burdened by things or, you know, something or someone. Um, the Fool's card is coming out here. So I feel you guys are really going to release and get to a, a place of innocence. I mean, because look, we got that page of cups with the... Um, Ace of Pentacles, we got that page of uh, wands as well. So um, I'm seeing you guys um, feeling some type of liberation, okay? And, and a new hope here, new fresh beginning for some of you guys. You could travel or, or find someone as well for some of you Geminis that is a free-spirited soul here, okay? So new beginning, new journey. Um, it's like... We're traveling light as well, energetically or physically here. What else for Gemini? I feel that Gemini, you guys are going to figure out what you know is best for you. I feel that some of you Geminis may need to, oh my goodness. You may need to, hmm. there may be something or someone that could drag you down and you may need to block them, Gemini. You just may need to. I want more about this. I need more about this. We got the seven of wands with the five of pentacles here. Um, also, Gemini, you do need to listen to, um, it's like, you know, knowing what's right for you, especially when it comes to um, needing what we need for healing and recovery, okay? I could see some of you Gemini's actually helping someone here too, but there, there's something about you guys really tapping into and listening to your your um, higher self, what spirit is saying, and trusted guides or counsels here that you know that have your best interests at heart. Instead, for some of you guys, letting the other people's opinions hold you down or hold you back. What more about this though? Give us more with the Seven of Wands, the Five of Pentacles for Gemini for August. Oh, within the next few months, you guys are going to get what you guys really need here to recover. Um, maybe even financially for some of you guys because, you know, we are at the Five of Pentacles, but we do have blessings here too. So um, within the next few months, Gemini, okay, remain... Um, as positive as you possibly can. I know that some of you guys, you might be challenged by that, but you really do need to honor um, something when it comes to taking care of, um, you know, your own needs or the needs of others that matter the most to you, okay? That's not going to, you know, hold you back from your dreams or your visions or hold you in a space of having to feel this much longer, right? So within the next few months, something is literally playing out. This is why I was getting this thing about just like more than one event, event is going to happen here with this uh, Wheel of Fortune. It's um, many events that are adding up, okay? That's exactly what's happening here. These, it's like these events are adding up. And there's going to be a breaking point, a release, what else for Gemini? See, Gemini, my goodness. Ace of Pentacles again here. Look, you guys are going to know and ex go exactly. Okay, it's like you know, you'll see it. This is a real solid uh, something good here, okay? And you're going after it. This, by the way, has come, come from past efforts. Okay, so we got something strong about you guys receiving something here that is really going to get you guys motivated, going to make you feel at least more abundant in life. New opportunity, just like walk through that door. Let's get more with this Ace of Pentacles. Let's get more with this Ace of Pentacles. We've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. want more with this ace of pentacles it could be a brand new um 
passion. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you guys, there's, okay, something is going to change your, your direct, there's something's going to change the direction here, okay? Some of you guys, you could actually uh, be changing something up with your work, your occupation here, but there is something that you're going to stay committed to. So something is going to change the direction uh, of where you're going, but it is worthwhile. There's something about you guys um, being staying committed and loyal to whatever you're receiving here. And I do see a lot of you, uh, Gemini, is getting the results you need from your past efforts that you've been, um, you know, doing here, working, right? Making some type of progress. Some of you guys, it's again, there's like this thing where you're, you're, you may need to really stay strong mentally here, okay, and focus because something is happening here where we have, a, you know, a switch almost. We're definitely moving into or changing directions here, but it is um, for the betterment of you. What else for Gemini? Yeah, look, see, spirit knows the way. <laughs> so a lot of you Geminis really are building and establish, establishing something. Look, things are accumulating for you, okay? It's all happening here. So spirit is saying have faith that your progress is being, um, you know, appreciated and it's not going unnoticed, especially from the spiritual realm, okay? But I see a lot of you, um, Gemini, is, you know, following a path here um, where we are an advancing soul and we're establishing something. Maybe some of you guys are going to find an opportunity or enhance your opportunity for some when it comes to teaching and guiding others, um, learning from um, higher, you know, from a higher power as well and being able and being able to share that knowledge with others. But spirit is helping you um, bring bring um, a situation together okay people things whatever you need spirit's going to help you here what else mm. some of you guys could actually even get some type of communication too with maybe someone that you know we've blocked um, out here there could be something with communication here too within the next few months yeah i feel a lot of you gemini's you're there may be something that is um i feel that there's going to be some <sighs> There's going to be someone that might even try to discourage some of you guys. You got to be wa you got to be watchful for that. I just feel that spirit is saying just take action on things is what's going to help a lot of you guys fight any type of maybe anxiety or fears or maybe even hidden fears that we don't even know and to really get out of a situation where for some of you guys you you may you're ready for some type of change. There's just a sense of stagnation here, okay? So don't be afraid to take action when you're feeling inspired to, okay? Because taking action is leading towards some type of success here. It's moving the, um, it's also moving the wheel. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out what is Spirit's advice for Gemini in the month of August. Oh, whoa, look at that. Okay, <laughs> that just fell right on down. Okay, that was quick. We got ju Judgment and Ace of Swords. Yeah, you guys are, um, there's something about fresh, clear thinking too. A lot of you Geminis, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get what seems like a second chance at something or possibly a second chance, right? So, yeah, the advice is, is to um, not be afraid to um, break free from things that you know. You just know, Gemini, that it's, 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 gonna, it's like a drag here. So I'm seeing you guys um, staying focused, staying clear, having also victory here. But the advice is, is to just start making um, you know, decisions and have confidence in it too. Um, or, you know, powerfully go for what you guys are feeling um, is your calling here, okay? Um, some of you, 
some of you Geminis, <laughs> there may be something here with having to apologize as well for some, um, but you're going to know when's the right time to do that. Okay. Um, I, I don't, I don't know if it's going to play out in August because there's just something about you healing though. That's, there's a, a, a it's, ne it's necessary and essential for you to heal because you guys are transmuting some type of pain, but you're turning it into something that's beautiful here. See, that's what you need to know. It's like, look at this, the three of swords, you know, and there's even blood on that sword here, but it's turning into, um, shiny pentacles somehow. It's, it's, it's turning into something that is worth um, looking at because it's beautiful. You're going to have some new choices and a lot of you are um, coming through or you're going to get to a point in, in August here where you're realizing and waking up to new decisions and new choices because you're just, you're, you've, you're done with some type of lesson. You've already seeked the lesson and now we are ready for the next phase. We're ready to take on some type of new situation and have victory in it. Okay. So let's find out for you, Gemini, what you have to look forward to in the month of August. What does Gemini have to look forward to in the month of August? Oh, wow. See, new life. That's that judgment card. A new lease on life. What you have to look forward to is actually, look, Gemini, <laughs> that chaos and conflict is a blessing because it's really um, tearing away the things that aren't going to give you a sense of new life, fresh air, okay? something brand new. This is what you guys have to look forward to. Okay. Whatever chaos or conflict that's going, going, that you're going through is creating something brand new for you. See, this is what we're talking about. Those three swords, just like the giraffe suit is turning into a zebra suit. Okay. So those three swords are turning into something, turning into those beautiful three pentacles here. Because spirit is helping you and you have been heard a lot of you your prayers um you know what your feelings they all go out to spirit here and spirit hears it so you've got a new life to look forward to okay and we have something about within the next few months okay so things are playing out in your favor stay strong a lot of you you're gonna have to stay strong mentally here but you know, I'm seeing this, um, a powerful spiritual warrior. Okay. You do wear the, the badge of an honorable warrior. Know this because I feel that you guys honor and respect will come to you. Love and light. Take care.